All right, can I just be real with you for a minute today? Why are you spending so much time trying to fight the devil? I mean, seriously, all day long. So many Christians are just focused on the devil. Oh, the devil's really been hammering me this week. Just gotta keep up the good fight. Did you forget? He's already been defeated. You're fighting a defeated enemy. You see, 1 Peter 5, 8 says, Satan roams around like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Did you catch that? It said, like a lion. Devil's not a lion. He's got big roar and no teeth. And it said who he may devour. You know what that means, don't you? He can't devour you unless you let him. You see, one of the greatest lies that the devil likes to tell you is that you need to be fighting him because he knows he's already been defeated. He just hopes you never figure it out. So he gets you focused in spending all your time on fighting him who has already been defeated. And since he gets all your focus, you end up missing out on so much of what God has for you. Look, I'm not saying you're one of them, but there are Christians whose entire focus is the devil. They are actively looking for opportunities to get in a fight, to cast out demons, to quickly point out other people who are trapped in sin. But can you show me one scripture where God says, keep your eyes focused on your enemy. Spend all your time fighting the devil. Nah, they don't exist. My Bible says resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist isn't fighting. Resist is ignoring. And why does ignoring him work? Because he's already been defeated. First John 5, 4 says, every child of God defeats this evil world. And we achieve this victory through our faith. Couple things to point out here. Did it say every child of God defeats the devil? Nope because he's already been defeated. What you and I have to fight every single day is our flesh in this evil world. But pay attention. It said we achieve this victory through our faith. And what does that mean? It means you achieve victory by believing you're victorious. That's why the Bible tells us God will keep us in perfect peace whose mind is set on him. And then 1 John 5, 18 says, God's son, Jesus, holds us securely and the evil one cannot touch them. Oh, son, that's good. Listen, let me encourage you, friends. Stop chasing the devil around all day. Jesus beat that fool 2,000 years ago. If the devil's messing with you, tell that sucker where to go. He's only seeking who he may devour. Are you a child of God? Yes, I am. Then he can't devour you. So resist him and he's got to flee. Our job is to keep our mind set on the king. That's when you get perfect peace. That's when you see the hand of favor and blessing of God on your life. Look, if you're looking for the devil everywhere you go, you're going to find him. But if you're looking for Jesus everywhere you go, oh son, you'll find him too. Shift your focus today. Back to the one who's already defeated it all. You're a child of God. Your enemy's been defeated. And you have victory, my friends. The question is, do you believe it? And think about that for a minute. Hey, if this message blessed you today, please check out my new book. It is a 40-day devotional called Think About That for a Minute. Every single day, we take a scripture, break it down, apply it to our life. There's a challenge for the day, a prayer for the day, and then space for you to write down what God is speaking to you. Look, this is an excellent tool and resource to come alongside your Bible reading. It shouldn't take place of it. This book has blessed so many people. It's blessed me. I know it'll bless you. Go read the comments on any of my videos. You can get it today at kellykministries.com or go grab it on Amazon if you want it cheaper, faster, free shipping. There's also audio versions available on Audible. Get it today and, you know, think about that for a minute.